Hi friends, we are at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds where they're having the Minnesota State Fairgrounds Antique Show. They have two of them, and this is the fall one, and today is October 3rd, it's a Sunday. It's about 70 degrees out, a little overcast. Saturday, we didn't come because it was raining quite a bit, and I dropped Peggy off the door already, so she's in there. I just parked the car, and I'm heading in now, so hopefully we'll have a uh, good show. Oh, wow. That's cool. And this, this is a that cardboard thing. piece. is really, really neat. Yeah. That's neat Brox. corrugated. Oh, it's Brox. Yeah, it's really... probably from a candy display. Yeah, look at this. This old witch. Oh, I like that one. 70 bucks. Yeah, those are worth a lot of money. She always has a lot of fun. We got Easter eggs. Fun things. Look at that table. That includes free delivery. Okay. The price includes free delivery. Right here. Wait, 50s or 60s table. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Isn't that a great piece? Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. Fabulous piece. That is really nice. It's got 88 years on it. Really? You can imagine. Yeah, I counted them 88. It's so well made too. Yeah. And none of them are broken. Really it's just a fantastic. Everybody loves it. They go, wow, cool. Right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. You could put anything in there, a plant or a, that would get light. Or right. You know, I could. You know, obviously, in this place. In whatever. Yeah. I never thought about put something in the center, but yes. Yeah. But when you get it into a uh, location where there isn't so much stuff yeah. there. Either a lamp on it or a lamp in the other part of the room are going to bounce the light up. Yeah. It really is a uh, classic example of, I think, 60s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a nice piece by Hall, Peggy says. Or is it Hall? H A L. H A L L. Yeah, it's Hall. $35. Hall makes pottery. Yeah, that's nice. Seen that. I've seen that in milk glass, all that's, of that in uh, milk glass. This is a Vaseline glass, be, isn't it? Well, probably, yeah. Do you think it'd be a uranium glass that where it would glow? Oh, yeah. There's a tobacco jar. Oh, and there's more down below you, too. Mm -hmm. Nice. A lot of jadeite over here. But yeah. Nice stuff. This is quite a big place, and there's booths everywhere. And I see a shop over there that looks like it's tin toys. I gotta check that one out. I love stuff like that. But you can see the size of this. Really good size. And there's Peggy Lou again. Oh, now she's found something else. More drip glass, something or other, I guess. I got my billfold out. I'm taking these two. Oh, neat. That's a little high, but but they're not. We're not in a thrift store. We're in an antique show, yeah. so you know they got to pay money to be in these absolutely locations. And these no are really have these really shows. sweet. I didn't think I'd ever see another one of these again. I think they're from the. Let's just say from the 70s, 1972. Yeah. So they're pretty cute. That's one of my favorite places. So. Okay. So she said she'd wrap them up for me. Aren't they fun? Yeah.
Here's some very fun Scandinavian, Swedish canister set in really nice condition. I don't see a price. I'd have to pick up something. And there's even the little carving board back there that nobody would use. Just a nice plaque. Ah, oh, look at the coffee can. Red Owl. I'm using Norm's camera, so it's probably not going to be super sharp. But I wanted you to see that nice canister set. This is the kind of booths I like. Tin toys. Look at this truck down here. 850, but it's beautiful. 2000 for this one. Oh. I hate to think of what the one next to this is going to look like. I guess you have to ask the place on this one. You can't afford it. That is really detail inside. They don't have benches, they have individual chairs. That's pretty fancy back then. Lots of old trucks. Here's a beautiful car. And we've even got some airplanes here. Oh, I like this little Fiat. I think that's what that is. Nice plane. There. Lots of really cool tin toys. Old snowmobile. This guy stuff is not cheap. There's another one of these Fiat's, 350. Here's an old trolley. Wow, well, look at that. 475 dollars. some race cars. Wow, look at this thing. It's upside down. I have to go around the other side. This guy over here, he's protecting everything. No, I didn't. I just want to be a kid again. I got some new stuff here too, but these ones over here. And what I really like, I dropped over uh, one of those mugs there. Now look at that one. Indian motorcycle. Anybody who had one of those. Really beautiful. This one's got a travel trailer on the back of it. That's cool. I'm going to get back to this one over here. This is a Tonka 1956 highway set. That ever neat. Wow. Lots of noise here. You don't have to worry about music playing because everybody's jabbering. There's some 049 airplane engines. I used to make a little uh, wooden boat out of that and you'd run it just by itself on the water, on the lake. Just start it up and let it run until it ran out of gas. It was kind of fun when I was a kid. It had a couple of pontoons on it. It really went fast. Just running around on the water. Let's move on and see what else everybody has here. This is a booth full of glassware. Oh, Peggy would want these owls here. And these are going the same direction. Bummer. Look at this face. Wow. 125. Got a mirror behind it. This is a nice display she's got here. She's got mirrors at angles behind every little nook here. And oh, look at that. Oh, look at those ones. That'd be good for a cabin. No reasonable offer refused. I 
That could be reasonable. Just ask Peggy. So yeah, right. Lots of plants and tits for the wall. This is really something. This isn't exactly our style, but I know our viewers like a little bit of everything. And that's what makes antiques interesting. You never know what you're going to find. Even amongst the things you don't really fully attracted to, but you find a gem in there somewhere. It's a beautiful picture. Wow. I don't see a price on it. Oh, it's over here. 165. Why is that nice? Beautiful. Amberina. 390. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Let's look at all these salt and pepper shakers. Again, I have Norm's phone here, so I'm going to have to move a little slower. His just doesn't focus as well as mine does. But let's see if we can zoom in on these two. I think I saw somebody show these. F and T. E-F-F -F and T-E-E. -E. I don't know who they are, but pretty fun. I can't see the price. 20 something? Yeah, they are expensive. Oh, little kitties. The skunks are fun. Very fun. Oh, look at Humpty Dumpty. 21 for them. So cute. Oh, these kitties are really adorable. They're crazy. Oh, I have this set of dogs, Dalmatians. I just put them out for Halloween because they were black and white. Yeah. They're cute. Oh, look at these adorable ostrich. Uh, I think that's what they are, I assume. Very cute. Aren't these cute? Funny bird egg cups. Salt and pepper. It's an egg cup look, but it's supposed to be salt and pepper set. And that was $16. That's not bad for something that unusual. Really fun. This is an unusual Japan wall pocket bird. I don't know if I've seen one in this color. He's quite long. Very fall colored bird. Well, I think I like this recipe box. The bottom's pretty worn out and it, it does have show some wear. But it's really fun graphics on here. It's $20, so that's probably the highest. I think that's the highest I've paid yet. But I like that. So, this is an uh, antique show you only get to once a year, so maybe twice. The winter months is another one. So, you kind of splurge on some things that you probably never see again. I've been talking to a very nice lady here, and she's in Cottage Antiques in Minneapolis. This is her shop. And she said I could go ahead and videotape it. So it's, uh, these are things I've never really seen before, but it's Art Deco canister set. Got a lot of beautiful bases here. It's $95 for this one. 40 for her. 
I mean, I'll just back there. It was pretty cool. But look at this picture in the hall. This thing here is how much? Uh, come on. It's in the same size. $365. But, wow, that is huge. That's the biggest pool I've ever seen. And, Picture for a wash stand. Peggy's brother's got a wash stand that I don't think that thing would even fit on. That's big. Very nice. nice. Peggy'd like those lamps back there. A shade for each one of them. These are kind of cute here. Twenty dollars for a couple of. Oh, it's a pitcher. Wow. I haven't seen anything like that. Nice jewelry. Turquoise. That's a beautiful painting, oil painting. Real thing. These fingers are kind of neat. It's very nice of her to let me come by here and do some videotaping of her shop. Kind of hard to do this with so many people around. You don't know if they're going to want you to do it or not. And I was giving Peggy the freedom to go around and look so she could spend time looking while I try to cut some videos here for your viewers to take a look at, our viewers to look at. High tax, you don't see many of those anymore. That's a fancy bottle. Empty, unfortunate. Okay, and I can use this to call Peggy when I need to get a hold of her. Alright. These guys are funny, they're metal plaques of golfers. Can't quite see the guy in back, but he is swinging. And it's $35 for the three of them. And this poor soul over here can't believe the shot he didn't make. But his stomach kind of tells the reason why, maybe. I like those pants. I'm surprised at how receptive people are to letting us come in here and videotape their booths. Most of these people are just, it's their own collections from home. So they, uh, there's some nice, interesting boxes. I got a lot of dynamite boxes I have that I collect. Unfortunately, no dynamite in them anymore. And this is a Tom and Jerry set. Peggy's got several of these, but they're all in reds and greens. This is a set I haven't seen before. Pyrex, of course. A nice old fly rod. Really old. $28. Let's see what's down the line. $59 for that. That's kind of cool. I'm so descriptive, aren't I, compared to Peggy? She knows her stuff. I just tag along for the fun of it. I like old bottles. Not much in them, but the bottles themselves. Oh, she's got a whole collection down here. Kind of hard to read what they say on them. I got some fish bottles. They're easy to make out. Now we got some music playing, dang it. I had to show you these candy dishes. They're very big. It says Dakota. I don't know what that says. Really pretty, really big. 
This is the uh, second candy dish. The first one over there was a typical rounder shape. But look at this one. So tall and really, really unique. That looks like really old candy in there. <laughs> and then this one over here is a very nice shape. It'd be just beautiful put together and three of them sitting together. This one is also 149. Here's a gal who's got uh, some Vaseline glass lit up. That stuff really glows. This is $160 for this piece, but boy, is that a nice... Is that for putting a cake on, I imagine? And she's got... Bird and uh, stuff here. And this is one huge planter's jar that I've never seen before with those um, big peanuts on the sides like that. That's really different. There's so many tins here that are really unusual. Steve Ketchum AntiqueBottleDepot.com Yeah, he's got some really, really unusual tins. Sorry if this is a little shaky. I think my phone somehow steadies itself better. I noticed that when Norm was making videos with it one time that it seemed so shaky. You gotta really hold it well. Really neat stuff. Isn't that one fun? That's a big vapo spray. Hmm. Wow. Lice destroyer. Oh my. This is a great collection of tin toys. And this is D&D &D toys. And they have uh, quite a collection of their own, and this is what they're selling. Lots and lots of fire engines. Beautiful condition, too, at $250. There's a lumber truck for $140. $190 for this service truck. Little Model T. Tonka Jeep. Here's a nice tractor trailer. Pacific Intermountain Inter Express Pi. See them running around all the time in the area. Over here he's got some more. This is a beautiful, wow, look at this, $750, Theo Ham's Brewing Company, St. Paul, Minnesota. Look at the condition of this trailer. In the land of sky blue waters, and that's what Minnesota is all about. Lots of sky blue waters. They say it's a land of 10,000 lakes, but we probably got 15,000 actually. So we're getting gypped out of that slogan. Some more down here, a little bit of everything. Tonka toys are fun. They've been making stuff for kids for years, and now everything's plastic. These are the old original toys when I was a kid. Look at this one up here, right with the box and everything. Ramp, $750, but look at that truck. Not a scratch on it. That is beautiful. Wow, that's nice. 
And here's another nice truck too. Really old version style. Three hundred dollars. More Tonka trucks down below. Jeeps. Yeah, the people outside. This one guy's got a few toys. It's got a uh, 57 hydraulic with browns with Really in rough shape. Over here he's got a Tonka marine service. But the cylinder is not good. But it's motor. got the spring in it. Yeah, really the tire, really no grill. Condition is in it. It's a little better condition of it. Love those boats, I've got several of them. It's nice. 450 for the whole outfit. That's a deal. $270, 275 And his headrest wouldn't last five minutes in our house with all those suckers on it. That's kind of cool. Isn't that fun? Look at all those retro neckties. Oh my goodness. If you were a collector, oh, I love this one. Oh, wow. I can see Norm wearing that. Oh, that's just beautiful just to display it. Oh, and even the one next to it on the left. Wow, that is really gorgeous. This is fun, really bold, and this one, oh, I love that. I think that's so cool when guys will be brave and wear a vintage necktie. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Norm doesn't have to dress up anymore, so he doesn't like the idea of a necktie. I'd love to rifle through them and show you, but I... I gotta hold this phone very steady, Norm's silly phone. He's recording too. Oh, I see a beautiful piece of pottery. Look at that. It's on the other side here. These ties are only $10 each. Can you believe that? Oh, I'm sorry, it's so noisy in here. I'm gonna try to hold the phone steady here. Look at. Ten dollars each. How much? Ten. Yeah. They're beautiful. I was admiring that one too. Oh, there you go. Guitar. Well, good. I mean, they're old. I mean, you can tell by the Oh, it's not a guitar. So Mexican hat, maybe. This is seventy-five dollars. But I've never seen it before. It's a very small, low mold, kind of pale. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. It's so small. Wow, rare vintage empire. Yeah, wow. Boy, this is a beautiful set, isn't it? So fall, oh. $68. It is, I believe, including the stand. That's really nice. And then we have this up here. Pretty common. There's lots down here. With the common leaf one.
that's a, a waste basket. A waste basket, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Uh, $18. Yeah. And there's these horse heads here she likes. She's always liking horse heads. Let's see what those go for. $55. They're nice. We've been walking around at the show talking to people on the boat. Let's do some videotaping, so it's going fast. We've got about uh, 40 minutes left of the show, and it's over for the year again. But they do have one in the winter now, I see they're putting on, so maybe we'll try to do that one. I've seen a lot of brass items, and this one is really heavy and unusual. $249. You can use those for snack ones. I'm afraid no, Peggy might snack throw snack these at me. He's a pretty heavy guy yeah. there. Yeah, I buy a lot of that. Wow, look at that. It's hard to make things out. Is that one? Oh, that's one whole unit there. Yeah, wow, pretty heavy. Uh, and that's, how much are they? Sconces, um, 150 for the pair. Wow. But look at here's. Oh, well, you need a big some. hammer, a big nail to hold that. That is about 60 pounds. That is heavier than I'll get out. Look at the fun mid-century stuff yeah, here. Yeah, look at those two bears fighting over a cigarette. They'll be sorry in 20 years from now. <laughs> mid-century ashtray, oh, for Pete's sakes. Nine dollars. I like this. Oh yeah, Peggy likes this. Marked down to 99 from 110. Isn't that beautiful with beautiful. the... Beautiful. Look at the nice... Gold. That's good shape, a beautiful handle. Gold filament pieces in it, I suppose you'd call it. There's a pretty pink, pink dish coffee. Oh, oh this is beautiful. There's another one is the lobbers over here. Got a nice set of those. These are electrical. Some over here? Yeah, look at look at that fish. Is that a what is that? The base up there? That's a cigarette ashtray again. Really? Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, you're starting to like ashtrays. You're making me nervous. No, back. I haven't been buying too many. I got one at a thrift store once from Steve, my brother. I don't know. Oh, look at that set. He had this set. My brother still has it. Well, I don't it. know that it's complete, though. I think he's missing one piece. No. How much is it? 65. Look at this bear up with this uh, tiger up here. Uh -huh. This guy looks like he's having a bad attitude. Oh, wow. Why do you see these? Swans, Swans or geese? Oh, I should think they're geese, but oh, look at that. Oh. Still has the original sticker on it, Florida. I hate to think what they're going to go for. Are $60, marked down to $60. $60. Aren't they gorgeous? And look at this parrot. Oh. You gotta buy those pegs. I know, I love this parrot too. Oh. I don't see it. Where in the world is the price on this? This guy's free. No price on it. But these are fantastic, aren't they? Oh you gonna get Don't those? you think that's pretty good price? Yes, I do. We had a March 78. Well, this is pretty cool. I think it says 79. Beautiful big dish. Very nice. Got a lot of pretty things over here. It's really noisy. Look at $35 each for these brass <laughs> cranes, herons, whatever they're. I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it's Isn't this adorable? Yeah. Oh my goodness. 105 Mid century modern. Look at that. That's right up my alley. So, yeah, it's, it's bedding. Look at this art glass. 32 Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Yes. Beautiful. And even that table, too. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Thank you. So cute. I don't know if that's been refinished. It doesn't look like it to me. It looks original. I mean, not necessarily the paint, but that seat looks quite original. Hmm. This is an unusual flocked pumpkin, very tiny, 
with a little flock hat on. So cute for five dollars. <laughs> and that little girl is real cute, a little straw, straw girl, planter. I don't know much about that. It's kind of different blow mold in a way with that neck shape on it. I don't think I've seen that one before. Look at this incredible piece of furniture. Boy, would Selena. The vintage bombshell I think this is unbelievable I would imagine because she likes all of these animals carved heavy carved pieces of furniture like this but look at that oh my goodness in crushed velvet isn't that amazing? Wow. I don't know that I've ever seen anything like this. Wow. Look at that. It's in pretty nice condition. It's $3,295. It's called Carved Lion Settee with Italian fabric. Just really nice fabric. Pretty wild, huh? Wow. Very impressive. Look at this beautiful carved lion. I don't know how they do that. What kind of stone that is. I don't know if that's marble or what, but it's really something. Must be lighted. Wow. There's another really elaborate piece of card furniture. Would be fun to know where these came from. Maybe I can ask the gentleman who's packing up here. It's getting late. It also has very fancy arms here and the feet too, everything. Really amazing. Looks like leather.
what a bedroom set. Wow. That is amazing. Look at that mirror. Beveled mirror is just incredible. Whoa. Really fancy hardware on there. Can't quite make it out. I'm a little ways away, sorry. This is a very unusual cabinet with, I would call that burl wood again on the front panels and side panels there. You can see how marbled looking that is. Just really ornate carving everywhere. And look at those handles. I don't know what there would be handles there for. Oh, it's a drawer. It is a drawer. Doesn't have a top on it. I don't know why. You can see how big this building is. I haven't even gone down this whole side yet and people are packing up. Look at these two. How much is that? 2895 I don't know. It says urns with an S. So it must be a pair. Wow. I wonder what that's made out of. What do you think, Norm? The one on the right here is more polished, so it looks like it's going to more. I mean, this one's dull. See how glossy this is? Yeah, just cleaner. Just ladies, and up here just cleaner. Silver plated Art Nouveau. Silver plated Art Nouveau. Oh my goodness. You see that lady up there? On, there's a girl's purse here. Oh, lady. oh. Some kind of snake, but look at that. Marble. $995. Art Deco clock with tiger and snake. $9.95, wow. Isn't that amazing? It looks like marble. Yeah, it is. It says marble. Well, no. It doesn't say, but certainly looks like it, yeah. No, marble. I mean, it's marble. Some kind of stone, anyways. Big speaker in back. Oh. Look at this retro bird cage. Retro cool. Unbelievable. Look at even the design on the front. So mod. What a cute little birdie in there. Look at that beautiful chrome stand. It says Hendrix. D R Y X. Oh. Why would it say hat box? I don't know, hat box bird cage. That is fantastic if you have the room. It'd be much more fun to have a bird in it, real one. Darling. We're driving into our neighborhood. Looks like these are the new family just moved in this corner house here. They're adjusting their mailbox. They're twin homes. Looks like a mom and her daughter twin homes along there, yeah. along that side. Quite a few blocks to my right are twin homes. The leaves are coming down early. Yeah, these are all ash trees. Everybody got an ash tree in this development. This guy walking has got a husky. He's got a really big husky. He's always walking along. Oh, look at that. Dog. Look at those pretty... Um, maples back there. Oh, they're just really nice. They were thinking we weren't going to get that much color, but I think we are. 
Yeah, but now so the, the ash trees are first and they're just dropping their leaves like crazy now but we do have a maple right here right here but it's no on color your color. left Should it's getting there it, it's getting there but it's dried up leaves though uh, well it's just not putting it out and they're all ending up on the ground it it's had years like last year it's just beautiful and the squirrels are climbing up it now and and they keep biting off branches biting yeah off branches to eat the seeds because the seeds are why. like falling off don't know why. And this shrub always turns really red. Yeah, well here's our garage. Oh, uh, here's the garage. See, no, Norm, some, Norm and I did all of this artwork, all of these pictures. A couple pictures. in the corner up are new and nobody sees. Yeah, those. they were at my brother's house, so those are new. We're bringing back about 13 more that we've got up there yet. The uh, brown pelican and the Canadian geese. And the pheasant. I don't think you had that there either the last time we did a video. So uh, yeah, yeah. we have uh, a lot more in the house and in his house. Yep. Yeah.